Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video about handling your Leopard Gecko. Okay, so this is my example and it's got my Leopard Gecko Echo in. So I'll just get him out. Hold it that way. Just a bit okay, so to first of all, get your Leopard Gecko out. You want to remove the hide or the obstacle that's in its way. Now guys in. Okay, so now just pick him up. You can either pick him up by this or that. Or by scooping them. Either way to me, but I don't really mind them. Both ways. And both work just as effectively. So yeah, that's how to actually pick your deck up. The second thing I'll be talking about. The second thing I was talking about is how to actually handle your gecko once it's in your hand. Okay, so how do you handle your gecko? It's good and I'll do, just put one hand in front of the other. And you, if your gecko wants to move, it will actually walk onto your hand, like so. So I guess it will go to the side where he wants to go. Ok, the second thing is, I'll put your own wire around your body, like so. Just always keep it a little straight. Like that. Ok, so a few tips. Never pull your gecko tail. As it will fall off, if you pull it too hard, which obviously neither you or the gecko wants. Uh, secondly, uh, if your gecko is getting a bit fast for you and you want a bit more control, you can just hold it like this. Now I'm not pushing down hard at all. I'm just securing my gecko and giving it a bit more pressure so it can't move. And um, yeah, that's basically how to handle your leopard gecko. Obviously, a bit of common sense needs to be used because. Just not pulling its toes off or you know, squeezing it. But other than that, that's definitely how to handle your leopard gecko. So yeah, please subscribe for more videos about leopard geckos and other things. And yeah, I'll be seeing you soon, hopefully. Now, if you want to suggest any video ideas, that's fine. Just leave a comment below. Like and rate. Thank you.